Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a layered die card and we're going to be using the Fairy Friends Bite Size Book from Hunky Dory. So let's get started. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us here today. Um, today I thought I'd have another go at doing one of the layered cards. Back in September, I was doing a Christmas challenge and I did a Christmas card where I die cut some circles and I put different ones in to make a really nice laid card. You guys seem to really enjoy it, so I thought I'd have another go today for a just a generic everyday greetings card. And I thought we'd use the square nesting dies for this one instead. Um, I have already picked out, I'm going to do this one really nice sweet little bear and then I have my nesting die so to be able to do this type of card and you can use it with anything I'll have done both cards using um, a little book sheet but you can use any backing papers toppers whatever it is that you want you just need to make sure that you have two identical pieces of paper or card um, I suppose you could do it with non-identical, but it wouldn't give you the same effect. It would give you a different effect, but I guess it wouldn't look bad. Um, especially if you was able to get something where you had um, maybe the same pattern, but either different colourways or... I suppose this technique would actually work really well if you had a patterned paper where you had one where the background was white and the patterning was black. And then you had another sheet where the back was black and the pattern was white that could kind of work with this style of card as well um but i'm going to use the topper side so you're going to put one of the toppers or sheets to one side that is to put onto your card stock then we're going to take one of these and we're going to start laying on some dies um i'm not sure what size i want that will give me a frame in fact, you're actually probably better off working from the smallest one. Let me shake out some of these smaller dies. I don't want to go too small, I don't think. So, that's going to be in the centre and that one is going to be lifted off. Then what you do is you skip the next die and go for the one above. So much easier if you've got these on like a magnetic plate because you can just pull them out. That one is the, so that one would be the next one, but you're gonna skip that one. You're gonna put the next one down. So that section there is going to be a downward section. That's not going to be used. Then that would have been the next one up, but you're going to skip that. And I think it's that one is the next. Yep. So we're going to pop that one down. So that creates you your next layer that is going to be shown. Then you skip the next one. And pop the next one on. That one is going to be one that isn't used. So that's going to be a down. You're going to skip the next size. And use the next one. So what have we got? We've got an up, a down, an up, a down, an up. I need to create a down, don't I? I don't know which one would have been next. That one would have been next. So we're going to skip that one. Go to that one. So that one is another down. Then that leaves you your frame. I'm just going to move these about so that they are fairly equal. There we go, I think that should be okay. Play with them too much, I'll um, throw myself and probably make it worse. That should be okay. 
And then I'm going to tape these down because I want to make sure that these don't move. So I'm going to use, I use the Hunky Dory low tack tape. I hope that they haven't moved too much. I think they have moved a little bit. There we go. Then I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. I'm going to do that off camera because I have the big toddo and it just takes up too much room on my desk. So give me two seconds and I'll be back with this die cut and ready to go. Right, so I've popped that through my toddo die cutting machine. And then what I've also done is I've just taken all of the dies off of the sheet. And what you get left with is the image cut into, in my case, squares. For yourself you would have it in whatever shape you've done i've done circles before if you have say hearts or stars or octagons or i don't know whatever uh layering nesting dies you've got you can make this image work for you what i've also done is i've grabbed a big card blank to pop that on i've also gone for this really nice lemon yellow which i th thought would look really really nice on the background and I'm also going to use a piece of Miri board because, well, you guys know me. I love my Miri board. And I'm going to use a piece of the Miri, uh, the rainbow one. Again, of course. Do you expect anything less of me nowadays? Um, so what we're going to do now is we're now going to build up this card. We're going to build up the topper sheet first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my base picture to my Miri. Um, normally I would use my ATG, but I'm actually going to use my wet glue for this one because I want to make sure this is absolutely perfectly stuck down. And this allows me a certain amount of um, accuracy because I can move my piece around before it actually sticks plus now I have these little glue bottles absolutely loving it there I'm going to pick up my Miri place my dopper on top of there and then I'll just move it around till it's in the position I like Flatten that out. And then what you're going to do with this is you are going to take your first one, which is like your outer frame, and we're going to decoupage that up onto this base. So I'm going to use my foam tape. And I'm going to try and put a couple of very tiny little skinny strips down the edges. There we go. Same along this edge as well. Gonna trim that one, it was just a touch too big. It's a bit better. So then we're going to take off the vacuum. I 
And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a smidgen of wet glue on the backs of these foam pads. One, to help it stick, and two, so that it gives me a little bit of time to move it if it's in the wrong spot. Pick it up now. Make sure you know which is the top and the bottom. You need to get that as level and in line as you possibly can. It's not gone bad. Not gone bad at all. There we go. So that is your first layer. And then I'm going to press that down and commit that. Then what you're going to do is your next layer you're not going to use. You're going to move that to one side. You can use it for another card. You can try making this again and doing it the opposite way around. It's entirely up to you. But you're going to find your next layer in. So it gives you that. And we're going to decoupage this up again. So again, I've got my foam tape. And I'm going to cut strips off. two more pieces on two again take the backs off and I'm going to put just a smidgen of wet glue on because it definitely helps giving you just a little bit more time really And for the glue in my little bottle, I'm just using some of the Art Studio Tacky PVA glue. I buy it in the big bottles. I find the big bottles really awkward to use, but I was recommended to pick up some of these mini bottles and I just decant it into that now. And it is so much nicer. So again, you need to work out which is your top, which is your bottom. And then you just need to get this in the right position. And it's at this point where it will start to get a little bit harder. But you'll start to see how your card comes together. Make sure it's in the right spot. There we go. So that's the next layer. And then again... You're going to miss the next one. You're going to come in again. And this will be your next layer. Then you'll miss the next one after that. And then you'll be on to your final square in the middle. So again, I'm going to use my 3D foam tape. I know this is a bit repetitive. So please do feel free to skip forward to the next bit.
So again, we're going to take the backs off. They're not a quick card, I must admit. But once done, the effect is beautiful on them. So I'm going to layer it up. So again, remember where your top is. There's nothing worse than popping these down and realising that you've got them upside down. There we go. And then the final piece is the square bit in the middle. And there we go, that is the topper. Just look at that. It's so beautiful. There's not huge amounts of dimension on there, so it's still gonna be really nice. Oh, I love it. And I've still got these three pieces here that can be saved for a card further down the line if you wanted. So let's now start making our card up. So we're gonna fold our card blank in half. And then we're going to stick our backing card on. I've gone for this really nice lemon. I really like it. I'm going to use the ATG for this one. Now this lemon card is a hunky-dory one. It's come out of the hunky-dory Christmas hard actually um but i really liked the yellow on it so i'm gonna line that up against an edge squish that down and then trim it off We have this gorgeous lemon card now. And then we're going to add our topper on here. Uh, I think I might decoupage this up actually. Quite like a lot of depth and dimension on my cards. Go. 
I'm going to put some glue on the back. You can hear it's already sticking and it just makes it very hard to reposition. beautiful card absolutely love that i love the way that it looks you can obviously add more to it if you want to add things like your nouveau drops we could add some half pearls what have i got i have actually got some lemon half pearls up on my stand i think I'm going to pop a couple of little lemon half pills on that plate as well. Four, perfect. I'm just going to pop these in the corners using a bit of my glue and my tweezers. Oops. clean up that first one in a minute it went all slipping and a sliding so let's take off the half pearl and then wipe it off with my finger it's still wet better so there we have the little corner accents and then it definitely needs a sentiment so let's have a look through my essential book of hunky dory sentiments and see if we have one to match i'm not sure what colors are in here oh we do have some yellowy colored ones um, doo -doo -doo. I don't like that one. So I'm just going to trim this off a little bit. I'm just getting rid of the teeny tiny notches that you get on the die cut items. I think that on there, mm. oh, go on. we'll put another bit of decoupage on.
and there we go one beautiful card using that layered dyed dye effect um i really like those cards i think they look absolutely beautiful i love the effects that it gives and i, th I think that's just stunning i really really like it as i said you can add even more embellishments and flourishes on there if you would like but i really like it as it is thank you so much for joining me today i hope it's been um inspiring to you if you're getting your crafts out please do let me know in the comments down below what you've been up to if you haven't already please do hit that like button and the subscribe and also the notification bell so you know each and every time that we post a video thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week bye for now